If you know anything about me, which you should, because I'm kind of a big deal, uh, you know that I like the clean setup. I've been moving towards clean setup, no desktop. Now, there are limitations here. This is my clean setup. I use my ThinkBook 14 Plus here, Chinese model with Oculink. Oculink runs into this eGPU, 40, uh, sorry, 5070 Ti in there, and then it runs out to my two monitors. Fantastic. And my Mac Mini does kind of similar thing, but it doesn't need a dock. So I don't have a desktop computer. I have this with a GPU. There are some negatives there. Uh, first of all, I don't like to have this off to the side the way that I actually use it. I have it set up so that when I close it, it actually keeps the computer on, and I only use these two displays because I don't want this one running. That's how I run this here. Problem is, uh, you know, I don't get access to all my keyboard and trackpad, so I have to use this kind of stuff here, and there's all of these quick functions that I have on my keyboard, brightness up, brightness down, volume, mute, all that kind of crap that's on my laptop. Um, this keyboard's decent, but I find that it's kind of annoying because it's meant to be like multi, so I have to constantly do like function, this kind of stuff. It doesn't do what I want, it's kind of annoying. So when Tobin known, I've done a few, a few reviews of their products. When they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review this, UDS 048, uh, it's a USB-C dock. It's actually a dock, like it's got all this stuff on it. And it also has some controls, so it's both. Now, before we get into that, we do come with the cable that plugs into your uh, PC, in this case, my laptop. It can also plug into my Mac. Macs also have no ports whatsoever and they're kind of crap. Host goes into the PC, so that's gonna be the connector. Now after that we do get a relatively slower, I guess I'd say USB-C for peripherals, that kind of stuff, dongles. You get two USB-A, same idea, USB-3, so they're fast enough, good for like SATA drives. HDMI out, um, which you can use if you have like a Mac or you don't have what I have, which is a GPU type setup, it's your choice. Uh, I have a GPU type setup, but if I didn't be using, if I wasn't using the GPU right here on camera, then when I close my computer I would probably use that. My laptop does accept display over USB-C. You can, if you want, you have a LAN port as well for Ethernet, HDMI, uh, audio, I don't say HDMI there. You do get SD card and micro SD card, really nice because, really nice because creator style laptops um, don't necessarily always have these. So mine actually does have a micro SD card, some do not, that's very good. And then you actually get this control. So you get a volume control, lock, I uh, don't actually know what that one does. Uh, snipping tool, which is fantastic because Macs don't necessarily do that very well. I don't know what that is either. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of exploration as we go. So I'll go like that here. That's gonna give me my mouse and keyboard access right there. All right, that's gonna be good. Um, what else are we gonna plug in? Well, let's start by still plugging in the actual computer. Power, so it's powering my computer. Now I have it set so when it's plugged in and I close my lid, it does not slip my computer, very nice. Now I can get this out of here, out of the way. Very cool. Get my mouse and my keyboard. Right, fantastic. That's going over the dongle in the front here. Very nice. Let's kind of get a shot so we can show this kind of in this frame since it's part of the marketing part here. So that's cool. Is that, can you see that? I guess you can see that. That looks pretty neat. Um, whatever. Normally I wouldn't have it set up like that, but this is a video review, so that's fine. We have a lock, whoop, that just locks my computer. That's cool, so if you just wanna sleep your computer real quick, you can do that. If you hold it, it'll probably shut it down. I don't wanna do that. Snipping tool, does that work? Yes, it does. Yeah, that's that's screen grab right there. If you just wanna do a quick screen grab, multiple ways you can use it too. So, um, one, power lock. So if you just press it, it will, short press Windows takes effect, long press is Mac. So uh, for Windows, it's just like a single press. For Mac, you're gonna hold it, very cool. Two is the sleep button. Uh, which is that right there. Um, blah, 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 blah. Short press on Mac, I don't wanna do that right now, but that'll sleep your computer. Don't wanna do that right now, because I'm using it, but that'll sleep your computer. Three, light toggle, oh, that's what that is, RGB. So right now we have red, green, pulsing, is it pulsing one color? Yep. Volume up, volume down. I feel like this would be really useful for streaming purposes. Very good. My assumption is when I plug in the SD card, we'll have an SD card access on my computer. Absolutely no fa no idea how fast this is gonna go. They didn't say. Uh, I'd hope it would just go around the normal speed. Let's see, standard SD speed, so that's good. Operates at the speed of my SD card, no problems. 
So that's fantastic. I mean, that that is actually a really good inclusion. I'm happy they did that because for that there, uh, because for me, I'm like a rare case where my 14 inch laptop actually has a micro SD card. Not that I'm always having it within reach, depending on where I set up my laptop, but most smaller laptops don't. The type of laptop where you're really going to benefit from all these extra ports and uh, like Max, like Mac books, they don't have SD card readers, new ones at least. And Mac minis don't have SD card readers. So you're pretty much screwed when it comes to, you know, if you have like a DJI camera or whatever, or you have a normal SD card and you have a standard camera. Um, yeah, you have to have run a freaking dongle just to plug that in. So that's annoying. Uh, that's good. Okay, what else we got here? We got some more ports here. I like these type of reviews where it's like, this product is designed to do this thing. And then my testing involves me making sure it does those things. And then I can decide if it's worth it or not. Um, and the viewer would decide, you know, is, do I want that type of thing? And if I do, and it does what it's supposed to do, then it's probably good. Oh, okay, it's fast. Okay, uh, I was worried about it not hitting 500 megabytes a second. So that's as fast as this. This is a Samsung bar, this SD. This this could actually probably go faster, up to about 500 megabytes a second, but I don't own a, an SD uh, USB dongle that can go that fast. You could hook up like a SATA, external SATA drive, and it would go faster, probably about 500 megabytes a second. I didn't realize this thing was that fast. Holy crap. 400 megabytes a second? No wonder I can install Windows in three seconds with that. Like that. I mean, this is a 20 gigabit capable device. So yeah, so it's just shy of 500. So yeah, it's 3.0. Very good. So it's fast, right? So you're going to be able to run a lot of external storage off of this as well. Okay. And now things are more interesting. Um, mainly because, I mean, a lot of people, I think, would be buying this with MacBooks or Macs in general. Um, so Mac Mini and MacBook don't really have good storage. And you can see here, I have that just this plugged in to my Mac. I had to get like a full dock for my Mac Mini to make it useful, to be honest, because it just had no ports. It drove me crazy. Um, so you can plug this in, for example, to your Mac Mini, which comes with basically no storage at all. Uh, it comes with no ports at all. Then I can plug in and I can have access to USB-A, which allows me to do mouse and keyboard. Uh, of course, storage as well uh, if, with these external things here. Very good. I can use my SD cards, which is good for professionals. I think a lot of people who buy Mac minis, at least, use those. Uh, Set these buttons. So go like that. That should sleep the computer. No, oh, you just press the button. Okay, sick. Go like that. Uh, this will lock it, I suppose. Oh, I have to long press it. Yep, it locked. Now I'm back to the password screen. Very cool. It's also very convenient. You can just quickly rip this button out here. Very cool. And a freaking screenshot, which is always a pain in the ass on Macs because you have to use like keyboard shortcuts. I can never remember them. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Well, that's the video. Done. Let's unplug it and let's summarize it. It's actually really cool and fantastic. And I think a lot of people are gonna like this one. Anyone who's going for, I mean, you could do it on like a Windows desktop as well and you know, extend that into your desktop. And of course have access to all these ports rather than having to reach under your desk, for example, for your Windows desktop. So I think that's very useful. But I think this is actually gonna benefit two, maybe three groups more. People like me who have the wonky setup where you have the laptop only setup. I mean, you just get access to way more stuff here, way more ports than that. Laptops generally are a bit limited. You get access to all this extra stuff here. So that's obviously gonna be fantastic. Uh, it also does appeal to the mini PC enthusiasts as well. Kind of evidenced by the Mac mini, but I also have like Windows mini PCs. They're just off camera, I don't feel like bringing them. Um, Windows mini PCs are also lacking a lot of ports. Generally speaking, you'll just have a few ports. They're good and like the power to size ratio is great on them, but you're definitely missing ports in that and controls on a mini PC. So this, and this is very clean too, right? So if a mini PC set up, you have your mouse and keyboard set up and you have this somewhere cleaner, like wherever you want to set it, it's gonna be a nice clean setup. Very, very clean. And it brings all these ports closer to you, especially if you, for example, mount your mini PC on the back of the monitor, which a lot of people actually do. A lot of people actually do that. You have access to nothing. Whereas here, you know, you plug this in to the back of there and then runs to the back of your monitor, for example, and all of a sudden now you have access to ports, right? That you wouldn't have had because your mini PC is up there now. So that's really cool. And then of course, Mac. Mac is gonna be huge. I think, you know, they don't market this specifically and be like, this is for Mac users, but you know who you are, Mac users. You know how it is. You get a Mac, you have no ports, you have a few USB-C ports, you don't have, you know, all this, you do have a display, but you don't have all this extra stuff here. And you're really going to be missing out on a lot of extra storage options. You definitely don't have SD cards and these extra controls there for me. Screenshot is like probably the most important one of all, interestingly enough. So it's a really cool product. Honestly, I think it's fantastic. So 
as I say many times, this may not be for everybody, um, but it has a niche that it's filling, a very neat, clean little dock type product, unassuming, not as bulky and kind of obviously a dock as some other products. Access to some nice little controls up here. It's just a very nice, clean little package here. Tobinone, they make good stuff. So far, I've you know, used a lot of their products and they all seem very reliable and good quality. Um, I don't keep all of the stuff. Some of them go to my like friends and that, and they use them. And I've had no one complain. and would be like, it broke, whatever. So, I mean, that's really good. That looks like a little smug face. Look at that smug little bastard there. 